Let's see, what do I believe? That's, that's a good question, always a tough question. I'm Christian. Well, I'm a Muslim. I don't believe in God. Every morning I try to like pray and have like a little Bible study, like read some scripture to get my day started. Muslims have to pray five times a day, so uh, I do that. I have um, found it interesting to sort of explore like meditation. religion sometimes inspires people to um, have more concern for other people. Like a lot of Christians like hold themselves in a very high like moral chair and for me it's not like that. I set my personal standards for you know good very very high. I am human so I mean that's part of being human I can't live up to my moral ideologies or why do you call me good? No one is good but God. I mean, I, I certainly take moral cues from Christianity sometimes without realizing it. It's not like Christianity equals morality and morality equals Christianity. I don't see it as like that kind of an equation. Ultimately, the reasons that religion is good is that it brings people together, you know. It's hard to say whether without religion exists, like, you know, take religion out of the world, would the same morals develop? I don't know. It's hard to say. People talk about, you know, how the Bible condemns homosexuality, and yet there's like two really vague references in the whole Bible. You know? And so to take something like that really literally is where religion goes wrong with morals, I think. Like, I think, I honestly think homophobia is a bigger sin than homosexuality. Because it's being judgmental, it's being unloving, and it's denying a group of people, like, the love of God. I don't think that's what God would have wanted, and I don't think... That's what Christ would do if he was on earth. Then you see that you know these preachers stand up and rail against the the gays and the Muslims and you know gotta go bomb the terrorists like like I said I think that's like mainstream Christians that are being portrayed in the media but I don't think like true Christians who hold themselves to Christ's ideals and to Christ's love really believe that. Especially in college, um, people are very logical. When I was reading the Quran for the first time, I really felt like he, um, God was like, speaking to me. In the Bible, they talk about you know like God speaking to people, like literally talking to them, and you know the literal death and resurrection of of Jesus, you know, someone rising from the dead. It's like you look around; these things don't happen anymore. So I'm supposed to believe that they happened then, and they just don't happen anymore because why? Like. It's There's some truth in religion in a metaphorical sense. You know? I mean, in the end, there, there is some sort of truth, whether it's you know, Christianity is right, Islam is right, or you know, to be a good person, you're good, you know, it's good, or there's no God. There's some kind of truth. You know, like if I'm wrong, <laughs> that could really be a problem. <laughs> you know, if there is no God, and we all just you know kind of die, then it doesn't really matter. Whether there is a God or not, uh, I should be looking for, looking openly and honestly for what's true.